that's 2,000 and then 997 equals $7,559 in seven days. What's going on fam, Eric Ellis here, the Wolf of Marketing, and if you guys like making money online or you want to learn how to make money online, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell to join the fam if you aren't a part of the fam already. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Now let's step behind the laptop. Boom! You guys are seeing Google right here, right? What I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do is how to collect $1,000 to $2,000 payments simply by leveraging Google. If you think I'm acting crazy, I'm going to show you guys how to do this with a little bit of work, right? And you don't have to have any money. You can start for absolutely free. And if you want proof, go ahead and check this out. Now let's go to PayPal from June 8th um, to June 14th. So that's a thousand, that's 2000 and then 997 equals $7,559 in seven days. Now if I divide that by seven, right now this current income stream is paying me over $1,079 per day. So as you can see, I'm getting people to pay me a thousand to $2,000 for what I'm about to show you in this video. So what are we going to be leveraging? We're going to be leveraging something called the Facebook pixel helper, right? So if you guys don't know what that is, that is a Google Chrome extension up here, right? A Google Chrome extension. And what you're going to do is there will be in the resources section. Don't worry. Don't go to it yet. But in the resources section, I will show you guys how to actually download this Google Chrome extension. And you're going to be leveraging this to see if there is a specific code on different businesses websites. And if there, if that code isn't on their websites, you're going to be able to actually capitalize. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just stick me to the very end of this video. And there's going to be a whole bunch of light bulbs that come up, right? So let me go ahead and actually, um, show you guys, right? Let me show you how this tool actually works. So if I was to go to, let's just say, uh, canva.com, right? If I go to canva.com, right, that this is a website, this is a, a huge business. If I look at um, the Facebook pixel, it shows me on this page, right, they have a pixel, right? So this is a Facebook pixel ID. So basically to explain what this is, this is a code that these people install on their page so that way they can see in the Facebook ads manager when people land on their page. Now, why is it important, right? If you notice the pixel that we're firing off is called the page view pixel. Now, why is it important for them to set up this pixel as a business? Because when people don't take a specific action, they can then go ahead and leverage that data to create specific ads on Facebook to get people to take that action. So for example, let's just say they wanted me to go to a specific page and uh, I didn't go to the next step, then what can happen is Canva could literally go ahead and uh, create an ad saying, hey, you didn't go to this part, right? Check this out. And then because if you've ever been on Facebook or you've ever v visited a website and you visited that website and you've, and you've been on Facebook and you feel like they're following you around. I remember when I first tried to uh, buy a car, Right, I was literally trying to buy a car, and when I was trying to buy a car, I was going on like car gurus, right? And then when I was going on car gurus, I went on Facebook and I was getting hit with the car guru ads. I was like, what the freak, how are they following me? How are they doing this? The way they're doing this is with this Facebook pi pixel. When you fire off this pixel, it's a small snippet of code, it allows you to retarget, right? Now, how are we gonna go and actually leverage this to make money? Get to the point, Eric, I got it, but you have to understand what this is for me to actually show you this method. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be leveraging this. Now you probably don't know what this actually is, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in a second, right? Now there are businesses who are currently paying for ads as we speak, 
right? And they're driving traffic, leveraging what is called a lead magnet, right? What a lead magnet is, is something of free. It's called bait, right? You're giving something, uh, giving somebody something for free. For example, uh, just to give you guys some, some examples of some businesses, we have chiropractors, we have gyms, we have real estate agents, we have dentists. These are businesses that leverage lead magnets because they can benefit from leads, right? More leads, more sales, more revenue. So an example of a lead magnet that a chiropractor may be using, maybe like a free adjustment. So basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and bring somebody in with a free adjustment. Once they bring them in with a free adjustment, they're gonna go ahead and crack the back of whatever, whatever and then they're gonna say, hey, um, for a discounted price, you can actually get a, a, a full month worth of services for this price, right? So they'll offer them some sort of uh, additional service, right? So that way, that free thing that they gave them, they're not just losing money, they're able to upsell. Another one is, for example, uh, a dentist, right? Free teeth cleaning or a gym, which is a, a free trial. So you give somebody a seven day free trial for that gym, they come into that gym. Once they come into that gym, the seven days, uh, uh, after the seven days, they upsell them to a higher tier package, whether it's a six month package, whether it's a 12 month package, the free teeth cleaning for a dentist. You come into a dentist for a free teeth cleaning and then they go like, oh my gosh, you have a cavity. Let's go ahead and actually fix that. Boom, $300. So they're able to leverage these free lead magnets, which is called the bait. With the bait, they come in and then they upsell them up their value ladder. So there's the free thing, the pay, the premium, the expensive. Now there are companies right now already paying for uh, paid ads right now for these specific lead magnets to get people in the door. But there are also a lot of companies leaving a lot of money on the table. And what I mean by that, right? There are companies that are paying for people to go to their website to actually book appointments for these free lead magnets, but they're not retargeting them with retargeting ads. So where there is a problem, where there is a big problem, there is a lot of money to be made. Entrepreneurs get paid in proportion to the problems they solve. So you can get paid a thousand to two thousand dollars per month to solve that problem. Now, where do we actually find these people and how do we actually do it? Stick to the very end of this video. I'm going to go to show you where to find these people and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be leveraging that Facebook pixel to actually find these people. So let me go to and actually show you, right? So an example, um, you can do this for any niche. You can do this for any location. There is an unlimited amount of people that you can actually reach out to. So literally one, two, three clients, you're making a couple thousands of dollars per month. And I'm gonna go to show you guys in a second. And I'm gonna go to show you, even if you have a little experience, how there's gonna be no risk on your part. Whether you get re people results or not, it's okay. There's gonna be no risk. I'm gonna show you guys the exact method to do that, right? So what I'm gonna do is, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and do Miami free teeth cleaning, right? So you want to go ahead and use the keyword of that free lead magnet. So an, an, another example could be like Miami, uh, Miami gym, gym free trial. So crunch gym, a free three day pass. So here's an example of another person that I can use. So here is a uh, crunch gym, right? So crunch gym, but they have a free trial. However, they have a face, they have the Facebook uh, pixel, right? So if you notice, they have the page view pixel. So because they have the page pixel, and that's why you guys need the, uh, the pixel helper. So as stated before, that will be in the resources section. Because they have the pixel helper, this person is disqualified. They're probably already running retargeting ads, so I'm not gonna be able to help them. But we're gonna be looking for people, we're gonna be searching for people who aren't doing this already, right? So an example is Miami free. And guys, you could do California, you could do Miami, you could do Texas, you could do Austin. If you're not in the States, you could do London, you could do uh, wherever, wherever there's businesses, you can do this method. This is online, worldwide, so on and so forth. So Miami free teeth cleaning. Now, for example, here is an example of a page, right? So we have Amaya Dental. Now guys, they are leveraging a lead magnet. Remember that lead magnet that I was telling you guys, they're giving people a 75% discount. So instead of paying the regular price of 285, they're uh, doing a $79 discount. So new patient special includes compressive exam, regular cleaning, 
and x-rays, right? So this is, I'm gonna go ahead and basically break down what this is. But first, do these people qualify for my help? We look, the Facebook Pixel Helper. No pixels found on this page. No pixels. I'm Maya Dental, you're not doing any retargeting ads? Are you freaking crazy? You're losing out on so much money. When somebody comes to this page right here and they don't book an appointment and they leave, you just wasted all that money. Now guys, what I wanna show you is that was an ad. I just clicked on an ad. I forgot to actually show you guys that. But if you notice, this is an ad. So I just clicked on this link. They just got charged for it. Now what happens when I leave? When I leave, they're, they're lost. Now, first thing that I wanna go ahead and tell you that is that most of these dentist office, chiropractors, so on and so forth, these people do not, they, they do not have in-house marketing teams. So chances are they are spending us uh, on somebody to actually run their Google ads. So if they're spending money on ads already, they're gonna be more open-minded to actually pay you to run their ads for them, right? Now, if you can go ahead and show them how they have a big, massive problem, that's how you sell anything, they have a big, massive problem, which this is, they're losing out on so much money. When you show them that they have a big, massive problem, you can go ahead and provide that solution and get paid handsomely to do so. So, how do we actually do that? Let's go ahead and look back at this page right here, right? So, if we look at um, the landing page, this is the landing page, right? So, because they don't have a pixel, Every time somebody lands on this page, there's no data, right? So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in a second, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually call these people. I'm gonna say, oh my gosh, are you guys crazy? You guys aren't running any uh, Facebook retargeting ads? Hey, I noticed Amaya uh, Dental, you guys, I actually saw one of your ads on Google, but I noticed you guys don't have the Facebook um, pixel set up on your, your account. You guys are losing out on a lot of money. Um, I actually uh, work with dentists, right? And we do Facebook retargeting ads, which is very simple, right? You're already running ads on Google. For the people who don't actually book an appointment, you could simply go ahead and, cr and um, create these retargeting ads to basically see, uh, get in front of them while they're on Facebook. And then while they're on Facebook, you can redirect them to get them to actually book that appointment. Because these people have already seen your face, they've already seen your brand, they're more likely to actually make a uh, make a purchase. So you're missing out on all this money. Let me go ahead and actually see what we can do the, do, do for you. Is that, is that something, uh, do you have 10 minutes to actually talk about that? And then they say they have time to talk about it. And the way that you're gonna go ahead and actually secure this client is simply at no risk because look, if you're a brand new beginner and you're afraid whether you're gonna go to get the results or not, the easiest way is just how is just how they're leveraging a lead magnet, leverage a lead magnet. Say, this is what I'll be willing to do for you. I'll be willing to give you a free three-day trial. I'm not gonna charge you to run the ads, you just go ahead and give me the ad budget. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a free three-day trial, and then after I get your results, you go ahead and pay me. Sound fair enough? Fair enough, okay, cool. I pay, I charge a thousand or two thousand dollars per month, whatever your price is, depending on where you live, your location, so on and so forth. So what you're gonna do is continue to watch this video. I'm gonna go to show you guys how to actually create the ad. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to and actually get these people results. After you get them results, then what you're gonna go, gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go, going to go ahead and charge them. Now, it's a win-win for everybody. If you don't get the results, you don't mess up your reputation, you don't mess up your brand, you don't feel bad because at the end of the day, they didn't, they didn't pay you anything. But if you did get if you did get the results, they're gonna be more than likely. Look, for example, if I was to go ahead and get this person a result, uh, running ads for them, they got somebody in for this, this cleaning, uh, the teeth cleaning. Once they came in for the teeth cleaning, they decided to actually make a uh, purchase and it turned into a two, $3,000 customer. They've already paid for my services and I was running services for them for free. Don't you think they'd be willing to pay me a thousand to $2,000? Of course, right? So with that being said, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and actually, after we secure that client, we're gonna go ahead and actually create the ad. So how do we create the ad? First, before we create the ad, I want you guys to understand what we're gonna be doing, right? So this is what they're currently doing right now. The first step is actually setting up the pixel that they aren't using on their pages, right? So there's two pages. The first page is the actual landing page. 
Now, after the person puts in their, their information, the next step is it's going to bring them to this page, which says thank you, then the Miami location, uh, Pembroke Pines location, the phone number, so on and so forth, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a pixel on this page, and we're going to put a pixel on this page. And I'll show you guys the importance of that in a second. But what we're going to do, right, is they're currently running Google ads to this page right here. Now, what is the campaign objective that we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing a conversion campaign. What conversions mean, for those of you who guys are brand new because I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you, but what conversions are is when somebody converts into, when somebody takes an action that you want them to take. So an example could be a lead. Somebody decides to go ahead and put their email in to that landing page and then go to the next step. That's a conversion. So obviously that's what we're trying to accomplish. That's the type of Facebook advertising campaign that we're going to run. Now, what is the objective? The objective is to create a retargeting ad for people who will land on step one and don't move forward to step two, which can be tracked with the Facebook pixel. These people were low hanging fruit. They were interested, but didn't take action. The whole goal is to take a different marketing angle to get them to take action on your client's offer. So what we're going to be doing is this is step one, which is the lead capture page. This is step two, which is booking the appointment. This is step one. They're running Google ads to this page already. They don't have a Facebook pixel. I'm going to set one up for them. And if you guys don't know how to set up Facebook pixel, that will also don't look at it now, but that will be in the resources section. There will be a video that'll teach you how to do that. So we're going to set up the pixel. We're, they're already running Google ads to this. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, set up a pixel and we're going to set up a, an ad that basically whenever somebody gets to this page and they don't get to the second page, we're going to go ahead and send them an ad right back to this initial page. Now, because they've already seen this page and they haven't gone to the next page, they're going to be like, oh, I've seen this page before. And they're going, oh, yeah, I, for I forgot to uh, set up my appointment because I was on the go. Or I forgot to set my appointment because so on and so forth. And then because we hit them with that retargeting ad, they're going to go ahead and actually book an appointment. And once they book that appointment, we're going to go ahead and get our client results. Once we get our client results, they're going to pay us a lot of freaking money to do it. So next step, how do we actually create the ad? First and foremost, you want to go ahead and actually create the ad, right? So what I did was I literally used this page right here and I screenshotted this girl's face. Now, why is it important to do something like that? Is because the more congruent your ad, the more your ad looks like the landing page, the better your results are going to be, right? So for an example, I literally made this ad right here. If you notice, just to show you guys, this is her face. I literally made this ad right here. So what I did is I used uh, Canva. So if you guys don't know what Canva is, you can literally go to canva.com. I just showed you guys that earlier. Uh, and you can create, there's literally a Facebook ad option, right? So I literally just screenshotted the ad, or excuse me, screenshotted, just to show you how easy this stuff is. I screenshotted this girl's face. Look, it literally has includes, just like this landing page. So this is really the includes, right? And then we have... Uh, I had this little thing that I made on Photoshop, 75% off new patient special. So if you notice, I did the math, guys. Tw uh, $285, $79, it's like 73%. But what I decided, right, you wanna make sure it's attractive, an attractive offer. I set 75% off new patient special. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I, now I'm gonna go ahead and actually create the ad. One thing that I did not mention is the next step is you're going to go ahead and actually, after you secure that client, after you create the ad, after you create the campaign, for the same offer they're already running, right? You're going to go ahead and actually have to connect your Facebook advertisement account to their Facebook advertisement account. Now, again, that will be in the resources section down below. Don't go there yet. Go there after you watch this video, but there's going to be a video that will teach you how to connect your Facebook advertisement account to their ads manager so that way you can run ads as an agency owner, right? So with that being said, once we're connected, I'm actually going to be creating an ad for my client. So uh, because obviously I'm not, this is just an example, I'm not going to do that, but I would usually be in their advertisement platform creating an ad. So it'll spend their money, it'll charge their credit card, you get the results, then they go ahead and cut you a big check. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press create. We're going to create a new campaign. The campaign I'm going to put dentist 
dentist, retargeting, ad. And then we're gonna do conversions because guys, we're, look, we're looking to get conversions. Uh, whatever you guys agree upon, uh, the daily campaign budget, uh, a campaign. So there's three things when it comes to Facebook ads. There's the campaign, there's uh, the campaign is the objective. We already talked about the objective. We're trying to get conversions. Then there's an ad set, which is basically you're targeting. So creating an audience, trying to the people who you want to get in front of, which we're just going to literally leverage the pixel data. So you don't even have to target or know about targeting. We're literally just going to go out and use the data. And then next is the actual ad creation. So we're going to do $20. Let's just say they gave me $20 a day to work with. Next, I'm going to go ahead and press save to draft. And one thing that I forgot to show you guys how to do, so I'll actually backtrack a little bit. I'll go to my personal Facebook. Uh, how you guys go to a Facebook uh, ads account? Well, first off, if you're gonna, if you're running ads for people, you're gonna actually create a uh, business.facebook.com. So you're gonna go ahead and create a business manager account. I will also leave that in the resources section. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually go to the ads manager. So you go to your Facebook account, and then you go to ads manager. So business manager right here, you're gonna go ahead and click the business manager and then it's gonna go ahead and actually get you to what I'm looking at right here. Okay, so next is we need to go ahead and actually create our audience. So that's where the ad set is gonna go ahead and be. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a lead. Uh, first and foremost, you have to actually set up their pixel. So make sure that their pixel is actually set up as stated before. That will actually be in the resources section as well, how to actually um, set up their pixel on their website. For time's sake, I'm not gonna go to teach you guys how to do all that stuff. There'll be a whole bunch of resources down below um, in the resources section. Next is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a custom audience. So we're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna go ahead and see audience right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and press create new. And then we're gonna create custom audience. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use your sources. So we're going to use website traffic. So that Google ads traffic that they're sending, we're going to go ahead and actually use that traffic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do include, um, include more people or I, I lied. That's not what we're doing right here. We're going to put all website visitors and we're going to do people who visited a specific website. So that landing page, right? We're going to be, Targeting people who visited this specific, this exact website. So what I'll do on my actual Facebook ad is I'll go ahead and just type in the URL, right? Next is I'm going to go to and actually exclude people, right? So the two types of people I'm going to go to and exclude is leads, right? So people who have already became a lead, I don't want to go ahead and hit them with ads because they've already done the specific objective that we're trying to do, that we're trying to accomplish. So there's no reason to waste money spending ads on people who have already become leads. Next is, um, ba, 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 is the landing page. So just in case it still hits them, even though they have a lead, we're also going to go ahead and actually exclude people, um, who people who visited a specific website, which is the thank you page. So, just to explain guys, what we'll do, this is what I do for one of my clients. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, uh, uh, this, my audience is going to be people, it's gonna include people who landed on this page. So I don't have to do, for those of you who know a little bit about Facebook ads, I don't have to target specific people, I don't have to target specific locations, I don't have to do anything. They're already running paid ads to their website, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually target people who landed on their website, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, exclude people who became a lead or who landed on the thank you page because they already did that specific objective. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and talk, call this dentist, uh, uh, dentist landing page views, but no lead. So that's my audience name, dentist landing page views, but no lead. So I'm going to create the audience. Boom, the audience is done, it's that simple. The custom audience was created, done. Next is, and I don't have to do anything else. Next is, I'm gonna go to create the actual ad. So we're gonna go to select the page. Obviously, you're gonna go to select their page. I don't have one right now, so I'm just gonna use a monster golf swing. Now, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to use the fan page of your actual, um, of the business people. Now, if they don't have a Facebook fan page, then go ahead and uh, 
walk them through the process of creating a business manager account or creating a, uh, a Facebook fan page, which that will also be in the uh, resources below. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create an ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and select an image. I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. And I'm going to go to desktop, dentist ad that we created. And guys, this takes, you can get paid a thousand to two thousand dollars per month with less than an hour worth of work. How fast am I creating this campaign, guys? Pretty fast, right? So I don't want to do that. Is I don't know why it's a square. Okay, cool. So um, this is what my ad's gonna go to look like. Now it's time to actually write the ad, right? So I'm gonna call this dentist retargeting retargeting ad number one and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make the website URL is this URL right here right so we're gonna be sending them to this landing page right the uh, text so I'll put something like hey um, you forgot to claim your massive teeth. I'm going to put new customer, new patient teeth cleaning discount. Click the button below before, before the offer is gone. So click the button down below before the offer is gone. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and actually create a headline and I'd put 75% off new teeth cleaning so I'm just gonna put instead of putting new all right cool so guys look 75% off teeth cleaning 75% off patient teeth cleaning boom obviously this is gonna be the the page of our our client what we're gonna do is obviously we're doing this for free but the, I don't see why this ad won't work. It's literally people who have already visited their page and who haven't taken action. I'm calling them out, calling them out. I'm saying, hey, you forgot to claim your massive new patient teeth cleaning discount. Click the button below before the offer is gone. So I have some scarcity there. I have the big bright red 75% off new patient special. I have the 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 uh, headline that says 75% off teeth cleaning. The audience was super easy to create. The ad was super easy to create. The client was super easy to create because I'm doing it for free. I'm not charging them anything. Obviously, if we're targeting people who have already visited, this is low, low hanging fruit. When we're driving people back to this page, they're gonna go to get more clients. They're gonna go to get more business. And if we're making them thousands of dollars, don't you think it makes sense for them to go ahead and pay us a thousand to two thousand dollars per month? Now, the next step, guys, would be. Uh, uh, clicking this green button, which obviously I'm not gonna go ahead and do because this isn't my business or this isn't my client, but this is one of the best ways to make money online in 2019 and beyond for people who are dead broke, who have no money. All you have to do is you just need a smartphone and a laptop. You gotta be willing to call these people, show them that you can actually solve their problem. And this is a big problem. They're leaving a lot of money on the table and simply, Show them how you can go ahead and help them. Once you actually help them and you get the results, it's gonna justify why they're willing to actually pay you that much money. So with that being said, if you guys like this video and you guys want me to go ahead and make more videos like it, go ahead and hit that freaking thumbs up button. Hit that like button, it really does help. And if you guys haven't joined the family already, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button, hit that notifications bell right freaking now to get notified every time I drop new heat. Now, if you guys want to know my number one recommendation, make money online, and if you want me to be your personal mentor, 
click the first link in the description to actually get access to me potentially being your mentor and showing you how I make money online. But down below in the resources section, there will be all these additional tutorials that'll teach you how to set everything up, like I said before. And aside from that, if you guys wanna know more ways to make money online, if you guys wanna know another way to make money online, as far as more videos, there's going to be a video right here that'll show you guys how to actually make uh, an additional way you can make money online in 2019 and beyond. So with that being said, watch that video, click that link down below. Regardless, take action, change your life, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.